Ankit, can you tell our viewers about the various hotspots which are coming in Rasul Khaimah and where is the casino coming? I'll show you. So there are three major areas on the coastline that attract the most number of tourists. Mina Al Arab, Al Hamra village and Al Marjan Island, which is where the Wynn Casino and Resort is coming. Wynn is an American developer and operator of high-end hotels and casinos with their flagship properties being in both the gambling hubs of the world, Las Vegas and Macau. They have planned a resort with 1,500 rooms, a total size of 5.6 million square foot and an estimated project cost of $3.9 billion. Its tower will have a height of an impressive 305 meters above the sea. That's a whopping size for an island build. To give you a sense of the scale, the tallest building on Palm Jumeirah, the Palm Tower, is 230 meters high and its views are absolutely mesmeric. I've also heard that aside from the gaming aspect, entertainment will come in the form of a theatre which will host unique productions, there will be a daily light and laser shows, spa and wellness experiences, 24 options for dining and beverages as well as luxury branded shopping opportunities. It will become the star attraction of the Al Marjan Island. Nadia, can you share more information on the island itself? Yes, yeah, sure. Al Marjan Island is a man-made development which extends 4.5 kilometers into the Arabian Gulf. It has 23 kilometers of waterfront and 7.8 kilometers of pristine beaches. There are going to be a total of 8,000 planned hotel rooms, 12,000 planned residential units and 600 holiday villas. So far, the island already has a number of luxury hotels and resorts such as Rix's Bubble Bahar, Hamptons by Hilton, Doubletree by Hilton, Radisson Resort, Moe Pick Resort with an approximate total existing supply of 3,000 hotel rooms and 3,000 residential units. Based on the impact of the opening of the gaming facilities in the casino, Colliers, the global property research firm, estimates that Russell Khaimah will welcome 3.8 million tourists by 2027 and more than 5.5 million visitors by 2030. So what do you think, Nadia? Would the current supply of hotels and residential units be able to meet the upcoming demand of visitors in the coming years? Well, that is the reason the biggest developers of UAE, Imar and Aldar are planning to launch new five-star hotel residential projects on this island. Moreover, the region's real estate activity has really picked up, with boutique developers such as Ellington and many others are grabbing plots of land to construct projects to cater to the increasing demand that will come along with the opening of Wynn Casino. The vibrant Miami-based brand Nikki Beach, known for providing luxury beach lifestyle, is introducing furnished and serviced residences on Marjan Island in collaboration with Aldar.